The Petronius platform is an enormous oil rig sticking out of the ocean in the Gulf of Mexico. Over 200 people are on board at any given time. But what exactly are they doing? What is a day like while living in the world's biggest offshore oil rig? The Petronius platform is the largest offshore oil rig in the world, with the job of pulling oil up from the ocean floor to be used by us for energy. Named after Gaius Petronius, a Roman governor with a love for architecture, this monumental rig is a remarkable feat that's hard to grasp. It reaches a towering height of about 2,000 feet from the seafloor to its derrick crown, making it the tallest freestanding structure globally. Its expansive deck spans 43 acres, creating a working community on the open sea much like a city. The platform's foundation extends an astounding 1,380 feet into the seabed, ensuring stability amidst the Gulf's unforgiving currents and waves. Weighing in at a colossal 43,000 tons, the platform's steel and concrete framework is designed to withstand the immense pressures and volatile conditions of its deep-sea home. The Petronius platform's story begins in the late 1990s, when engineering brilliance and technological progress combine to tackle the tough task of building a giant structure in the unpredictable Gulf waters. Construction started in 1997, involving various engineering fields like architecture, maritime construction, and deep water drilling. This colossal rig stands on 16 massive concrete caissons, each weighing a staggering 22,000 tons. These enormous pillars were carefully positioned on the Gulf floor. Once in place, they were filled with water to stabilize and gradually lift the platform to its towering height. Today, the Petronius platform represents human determination and adaptability. Its towering presence shapes the energy industry, and its complex operations are supported by the people that live within it. But the platform is more than its structure. It's the dedicated crew that keeps it operational. The platform's managers and engineers are very important, responsible for overseeing operations and ensuring the smooth functioning of various systems from drilling to production. Engineers monitor the network of pipes, pumps, and valves that wind through the rig, ensuring extracted oil reaches the surface. In the turbulent Gulf waters, dynamic positioning operators use technology to maintain the platform's stability within the water despite changing currents and waves. They control thrusters and propellers to keep the rig in position, which is important for precise operations on board. Safety is important, enforced by rig medics and safety officers who are vigilant for emergencies. They conduct drills to prepare the crew for any situation, given the remote location's need for swift responses to potential hazards. In constant activity, drillers and technicians operate a complex machinery that drills into the ocean floor to extract oil reserves. These skilled professionals operate the complex machinery responsible for boring through the seabed, piercing into the Earth's depths to tap into hidden reservoirs of oil and gas. Guided by geological data and engineering expertise, drillers oversee the deployment and management of massive drilling equipment, timing their actions with the rig's operations. From controlling the speed and direction of the drilling bit to meticulously monitoring pressure levels and fluid circulation, drillers play a pivotal role in ensuring the efficiency and safety of the drilling process. Culinary experts staff the rig's kitchens, making sure that the crew gets their meals. The food is incredibly important on an oil rig like this because better food has been scientifically linked to better morale. Maintenance and support personnel handle tasks such as equipment repairs, logistics, and supply management. Instrumentation technicians carefully calibrate and maintain sensors and control systems that oversee rig processes. Electricians ensure electrical systems run smoothly, while mechanics service the intricate machinery that keeps the rig running. The administrative backbone includes those managing logistics, procurement, and communications, keeping the rig connected to the world. This ensemble of roles forms the core of the Petronius platform's community, showcasing diverse expertise needed for such an intricate operation. Crew members work collaboratively, embodying the dedication that makes life possible on the world's largest offshore oil rig. But what is a typical day like for these individuals? And what tasks do they perform daily? As the morning sun rises, crew members start their day. The scent of freshly brewed coffee blends with the sea breeze as shifts change, and the night team hands over to the day team. A quick breakfast readies the workforce for a day of focus and teamwork. 
Meals are vital not only for sustenance, but also for morale on the ocean. Everyone has an important part to play on board the rig. And if even one group messed up, it can be disastrous. For dynamic positioning operators, the day begins with careful attention to the stability of the rig and the tools that they use to change it. Their precise actions ensure drilling operations continue smoothly, safeguarding both the crew and machinery. As the sun sets, the rig's operations continue. Day shifts shift to night seamlessly. In darkness, the Petronius platform remains active, a testament to human ingenuity confronting sea challenges. The Petronius platform, just like a city, operates similarly. But how does the crew keep it running, and what external support is needed? Maintaining the immense operation of the Petronius platform goes beyond the rig itself. A well-coordinated routine of logistics, support, and expertise ensures continuous functionality. Essential supplies are crucial, with precise delivery schedules for food, equipment, and spare parts. Ships navigate waters for replenishment, while helicopters bridge the gap between the rig and the mainland, transporting personnel, supplies, and expertise for seamless operations. Supplying the rig requires careful planning. Food deliveries are timed to provide nutritious meals for the crew despite challenging sea conditions. Maintenance is ongoing as the platform's machinery needs continuous care. Repair crews, often flown in by helicopter, regularly assess equipment, conduct repairs, and inspect to prevent failures. Remote monitoring tracks real-time performance, allowing engineers to diagnose and guide on-site crew. This blend of technology and expertise keeps machinery tuned despite ocean challenges. Environmental care is also incredibly important. Rig personnel collaborate with experts to minimize marine impact. Measures reduce spills, emissions, and follow regulations for sustainable operation. The synergy of the rig, vessels, helicopters, and onshore support sustains the Petronius platform's operations. But when things go wrong, every member of the crew has to go into overdrive to fix it. Oil spills, while rare, can have catastrophic environmental and economic consequences. The history of oil exploration is dotted with examples of spills that underscore the importance of swift response protocols. One of the most infamous oil spills is the Exxon Valdez disaster of 1989. This catastrophe occurred when the oil tanker Exxon Valdez struck a reef, spilling approximately 11 million gallons of crude oil into Alaska's Prince William Sound. The ecological devastation was profound, with marine life, shorelines, and local economies bearing the brunt of the damage. The Exxon Valdez incident was a wake-up call, promoting the oil industry to reevaluate safety practices and response strategies. When an oil spill occurs on an offshore oil rig, a chain of events is set into motion to mitigate the disaster's impact. The first line of defense is prevention through robust safety protocols, which encompass rigorous inspections, maintenance, and adherence to regulatory standards. However, despite these precautions, emergencies can arise, necessitating rapid and coordinated action. Upon the detection of a spill, the rig's crew initiates the emergency response plan. Immediate steps are taken to control the source of the spill and prevent its escalation. Simultaneously, specialized equipment is mobilized to contain and recover the spilled oil, ranging from booms and skimmers to advanced technologies designed for offshore conditions. An integral aspect of the response involves communication and collaboration with relevant authorities, regulatory agencies, and environmental organizations. Transparency and effective information sharing are critical to ensure that response efforts are aligned and that all stakeholders are informed of the situation's evolving nature. The crew's response to an oil spill is a high-stakes endeavor that demands expertise, training, and quick decision-making. Teams are trained in the deployment of containment and recovery equipment and they practice drills to simulate real-world scenarios. These preparations enable them to respond swiftly and effectively, reducing the spill's impact on the environment and nearby communities. In recent years, technological advancements have revolutionized spill response strategies. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, remote sensing technologies, and satellite imagery allow for real-time monitoring of spills, enhancing situational awareness and aiding in decision-making. These innovations complement traditional response methods and contribute to more effective containment and recovery efforts. 
the lessons from historical oil spills have spurred continuous improvement in spill response techniques. The Deepwater Horizon disaster of 2010, which resulted in the largest marine oil spill in history, further underscored the need for enhanced safety measures. The incident prompted renewed industry-wide commitment to preventing, mitigating, and responding to oil spills. Mitigating the disaster of oil spills on the world's largest offshore oil rigs demands a multifaceted approach. It involves a blend of advanced technology, well-trained personnel, stringent safety protocols, and collaboration among stakeholders. While the risk of spills persists, the evolution of response strategies and the commitment to safeguarding the environment and communities near these installations continue to shape the future of offshore oil exploration. But when oil is safely contained, where does it go? And how is it transported? As the rig extracts oil from under the seabed, it travels up through massive metal pipes. These pipelines guide the oil through separation processes, removing water and gas. Purified oil is stored in large onboard tanks for the next step. When it's time to move, special oil tankers, the unsung heroes of the energy industry, arrive. These huge vessels handle large amounts of crude oil, often millions of barrels. The oil is pumped from the rig storage tanks onto the tanker in a careful process, ensuring no waste. Tanker sets off, traveling to refineries worldwide. Refining turns crude oil into various products like gasoline and plastics. These products fuel transportation, heating, and industries in modern society. Moving oil from rig to refinery involves intricate coordination of maritime logistics, refining, and global markets. Refined products are then distributed to consumers, influencing economies and daily lives globally. The Petronius platform, a golf marvel, triggers this energy cycle. It symbolizes human innovation, collaboration between technology and nature, and the pursuit of progress. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.